There's a tradition in the uh, American African, um, uh, let's say, entertainment circles, especially with um, with comedians. When they go to a new town, they always have to find out about the new town, so they open up and they talk about the town. Kassab is a, a, a 49 word poem. It's seven lines of seven words in each line, uh, and, and every word has to be less than well, seven or less letters, except for proper nouns, okay? Uh, or was a proper noun. So here we go. The name of this Quonsalva uh, is The Mother Speaks Oroville, a dedicated Quonsalva. Oroville in Annei, Pesigirin, Oru Arpani Pule, Quonsalva. It has been decades since your comrade. Ungal Toderiki, Patandagalakhindane. He had been the guru we needed. Ningal Urasan, Ningal Engelik Tevi. The poetic force for us earthly all. Namakana Kavide, Sakti, Bumikurie, Anaitum Ningal. And you, our mother of us all. Yingal Amma, Ningal, Anaitukum. Saw the roots of those trees we need. Yingula Marangalin, Anivere, Ningal Tigashindri. To be his name domain of free. Ungalin payer, ingulla marangal, kuru hindrane. Oroville fills that dreamed of human need. Ningal kanavaganda, mani the neete, auroville, you pour the ingu sail pretty together. That's the poem. Uh, now, I'm gonna t you know, you, if, you, if you want to clap, you don't have. You know, you know there's, 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 now there's a, there, let me tell you another tradition that we have in the, uh, in the uh, American African. Uh, uh, um, well, grouping. But we do, in, especially in poetry reading, we just snap our fingers. You, you don't have to do that. I'm just letting you know, okay? Now, I just I want to take a little, a little time and just uh, what we call deconstruct this poem, since it's a short poem. I have a deconstructed voice. Okay, so the name of the poem is The Mother Speaks Oroville. So the mother, as you know, she'd never been to Oroville. She had the idea, and she spoke it into existence, and people did what they did. And that's why Oroville was built. In fact, let me tell you a little story that I found out. I, I've been here, I was here 20 years ago. And there's a story that when they was building the, the Matron Deer, uh, what, oh, it's gonna rain? Yeah, oh, it's oh, gonna be nice, nice. nice. Yeah, oh, good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when they was building the Matron Deer, the workers, they would uh, uh, stick a nail into the tree to hang up their, their garments and their, their bags and stuff like that. Well, the mother uh, said that, called them in and said, well, uh, the trees told me that they don't want you to put nails in them anymore. So they couldn't put nails in the trees because the trees spoke to mother, okay? So the first line goes, uh, it has been decades since your comrade. So it's been a long time since uh, uh, Sri Aurobindo uh, was, was in existence. He had been the guru we needed. As you know, Sri Aurobindo was, uh, well, became a guru. Uh, and, and, and for people who don't know, he was uh, he was up someplace north in India, and uh, and the well the colonizers the uh, the English colonizers were going to get him. They were going to you know do him in, and uh, he got a he got a vision one 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 time, and that and so he left to come down to here to the southern part, which is which was French colonized, but so he, so so they couldn't that 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 same night that's when the English came for him. So he escaped he escaped his demise by by coming down here to. Uh, I guess it's Pontecherry. Yes. Okay. Um, the poetic force of us earthly all. And this is a little thing. I, I, you know, all gurus, we're all poets. And so I gave, I, I gave Sri Aurobindo a little poetry uh, 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 credit. But in, 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 in that, that has a, uh, another meaning to me because there was a guy that you may know named Tagore. Now, Tagore was the first. Uh, well, I guess he was the first Indian to get, I guess it was a Nobel Prize for poetry or something like that. And uh, he refused the prize, smart man. He, re he just refused the prize. So in a w sort of way, I'm sort of throwing Tagore in there, but you wouldn't know it. It's only, you know, I'm just letting you know now, okay? Uh, the poetic force, he was a poetic force. Uh, uh, and you, our mother of us all, so as you know, mother, we consider mother of us all, right? Uh, saw the roots of those trees we need. And remember, Orville didn't was just 
barren land. There were no trees or anything like that. So when they started to build Orville, they made they put trees up first. That's the first thing that happened, and that's how that's how it got fertile. Let's put it that way. Um, to be his name domain of free. So we're talking about Sri Aurobindo's. This is his domain. No, his uh, 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 well, his domain, his area. Okay. Oroville. Now, see, remember I told you seven lines, seven words, but Oroville is a proper noun, so it's more than seven seven letters to the word. Fills that dreamed of human need. So she, so so Oroville fills that Peered. that human that human need. So that's the poem. Thank you so very much. Oh, thank you, thank you, Anthony, for the beautiful, short and sweet poem about Oroville. Thank you.